yo guys what is going on literally just got home from Hull City um, after hearing my voice down it's quarter to two in the morning so yeah very very tired I was trying to see how tired I am there but I'm knackered trust me I'm knackered um, I've literally got to get to sleep right now be up for four hours to go to work and do an 11 hour shift so yeah Busy day tomorrow, tiring day tomorrow, but the cinemas are worth it. Butter 131, Palm Wars for D tomorrow. I'm buzzing, man. I'm so made up with that result. Um, my brother Fan TV will interview after the game. will tell you everything you need to know about how happy I was. If you're not subscribed to Butter Fan TV, go subscribe to Butter Fan TV and uh, like the Facebook page. But yeah, um, incredible to meet the players. Met all the players, met Gary Monk, met Josh Friend actually knew who I was, which is crazy. We let me come out of the stadium. Went to meet the players and George Friend said, um, I said to George Friend, oh, we meet again. And he said, no. He said, uh, hello. He said, uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, he said, you put some bloody miles in. So, uh, he said, telling me. So it was great to meet George Friend and met Led Bitter for um, Housen, should I say. Met David Myler from Hull. Met Sebastian Larson. Um, I met loads of players. Met loads of players. Ben Gibson. Uh, Fletcher, met everyone, it was great to meet the players and uh, Gary Monk as well. Um, he was spot on with us, and I love Gary. I think Gary Monk is just such a jumbo bloke. Um, and he's found his best 11 in my eyes. He found the team that we need to take to, to push forward in this division. And uh, I say we're seventh, great position to be in right now. Tough game, well, oh, should I say a tough game on Sunday? You guys tell me. That should be a winnable game. Um, four nil. I said four nil tonight, and I was very unlucky. But four nil Sunday it could be more. I'm very very confident going to that one. The way we played tonight was the players playing for each other, and uh, we looked mint. We actually looked class, and uh, there wasn't a bad performance on the pitch. Man of the match again goes to Johnny Housen. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. He had a great game. Tavernier was close to being man of the match, but taking nothing away from Johnny Housen's performance tonight, he was. Seconds on, he was absolutely fantastic. Um, he was throwing himself into challenges. He wasn't bothered about frigging what kind of contact he made. He was just throwing himself in there. It was fantastic. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, I have ran it on in the past. I have kicked off in the past. And, uh, you know, hopefully these days are gone. Hopefully I can be happy. A happy AJT. Eating palms hands, weight watchers on a Monday. And, like I said, just, just, just overall being happy with the team because at the end of the day, you know, we're putting the miles in. We want to see decent performances. Especially we've got work in four hours, and uh, it's exactly what the players gave us tonight. Brilliant result, brilliant team effort, and uh, like I say, we go home happy. Um, and that's exactly what it is. I mean, we go again Sunday, live stream on Saturday with you guys. But yeah, very, very, very happy. And uh, we got the job done, and that was the main thing. So, like I say, we go again Sunday, and uh, yeah, it goes like that. And. Um, yeah, I have to be happy. Simple as that. But uh, I'm going to get some sleep because I'm absolutely knackered. The goals are fantastic. But Airfoy took his first goal very, very well. Took it on his right foot, put it in the bottom left hand corner. Christie, early ball in. So I'm going to put it away. The goal on back, fantastic strike. Take it off the way from their goals. Fantastic, fantastic goal. And then uh, they put a smash the penalty in the top corner and come right up to us and start celebrating. So overall, great night of football. And uh, fantastic result for us. But like I say, we go again someday. You guys take care. I'm going to go to sleep because I'm absolutely knackered. I'll see you guys again for a preview of Sunderland vs. Borough.